I think it, it's been a big test of of everything this summer, um, like you say, both mentally, physically. Um, and, but any game against Australia, you know, is, a, is obviously a massive game, and, and you just find something within yourself to to do it for your team. And I think. Um, any time you, you get to, and, and the more you can remind yourself of that, the more you find find energy to, to do that as well. So, um, you know, it, like you say, it's been a, been a long summer. Joss, do you, um, do you feel you're sort of rediscovering your, your test match tempo, if you like, after a sort of tricky start to the series? Uh, yeah, I think I've just found it hard all, all series. Um, obviously, a, an excellent attack. Um, I, I don't think I've... I just don't think I've played very well, so I haven't really got in. Um, a, a period at the start of your innings is always tough, and, and against a, a very good attack, um, you, you know you have to be on it straight away, and, and they challenge you straight away. So I just haven't quite been good enough to, to get through those periods. Um, but I think you know, the last couple of games just tried to fight as hard as I could. I don't necessarily feel great at the crease, but just trying to just scrap my way through it. Hey, what was your reaction when you got told you were playing? Um, I just said on uh, on TV, I was like a kid at, at Christmas this morning. Um, obviously, at times throughout a long series like this, being 12th man, um, it can be a, a long a long time and a long journey. But um, I've tried to have a positive influence on this group as much as I can. Um, work away in the background, um, do all my work and wait for an opportunity. Um, and I was pumped to get at this game. Like I said just before, I, I wanted to come here and have a positive influence on this group. Um, I think I've done that around the drinks and I just waited for my opportunity and uh, yeah, today was a really pleasing day. I think in the past my role as a bowler has been to, to hold an end. Um, JL came up to me before the start of the play, started playing at lunchtime and he just said go for it, attack, um, bowl the way you want to bowl and I guess that I was a little bit not shocked but it gave me great confidence to go out there and just give it everything I had. Um, so maybe a change of mentality allowed me to bowl a bit more attackingly as a, as a player, and um, it was fun. Well, when when you're not playing for Australia, it's not that hard to, to make a few changes. Um, I, I, it wasn't terrible. It just my body likes to put on weight easily, and, and my mum loves to feed me. So um, <laughs> haven't had as many roasts at home in the last six months, but um, it hasn't been that hard. I, I love playing for Australia. Oh, I just love it, and um, I want to keep doing it. I don't know how much you listen to outside noise, but <laughs> you always seem to divide opinions in Australia. Have you ever given a thought to why? Yeah, most of Australia hate me. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, Australians are passionate. They love their cricket. Um, they want people to do well. It's no doubt that I've had a lot of opportunity at test level, and I haven't quite nailed it, but hopefully they can respect me for the fact that I keep coming back and... I love playing for Australia. I love wearing the baggy green cap and I'll keep trying and hopefully I'll win them over one day. <laughs>